so today we are going to see uh, to, to move from one page to another page that's called routing so react and some other frameworks we know like angular or vue.js and react so these are the frameworks or libraries help us to build a single page application these are not a multi multiple page application not the uh, actual web, web page creation right so when when we compare to actual HTML page then that uh, that's a completely multiple page applications uh, not application multiple uh, pages we can able to create or because we need to create again and again the .html file like if you are going to use your portfolio i'm going to create a portfolio through html then you need to create home .html or index.html then about.html then project.html like that you need to create a multiple pages spaces in, in the sense uh, how many uh, HTML files we have in the project? So that's called the a page actually. So uh, in a similar manner, we compare with HTML. React doesn't have any HTML files. It have only one HTML file that is under uh, public directory uh, index.html. Within that, it have a root element uh, with the help with the help of a render function. We are rendering all the components through app.js file. We are rendering into the root component, right? So in this way, React is acting as a single page application. Then how the routing will work? So it restrict to refresh the page to move one page to another page. We don't need to refresh the page again and again. Like uh, if you want to move uh, in HTML applications, so if you want to move one page to another page, then the loader will start loading in the top uh, in the top address bar. Then only it will move to the other page, right? So because uh, whenever it moving one page to another page, at that time it needs to pull the data from the uh, server or the hosting provider. But in React uh, or a single page applications, uh, they never try to, uh, they, they didn't call again and again uh, to the server. So they have the separate mechanism for that kind of lazy loading. So with the help of that, whenever we record at that time, it will pull the data from there. For that, it doesn't need to refresh the page again. So that's the idea behind the single page application. So today we are going to see how to route the pages. So uh, if you want to route something, then obviously we need a router, right? So that's what the first topic today we are going to see. So there are two different routers in, uh, in this particular library like uh, uh, React Router DOM. That's a library today we are going to see. There are multiple uh, navigation libraries there like React Navigation is one of the famous uh, library. And mostly uh, all the people use React Router DOM because it already have multiple components uh, merged with the actual React library. So that's what everybody prefer, React Router DOM. Uh, that's what today I'm going to taking care of that, taking care of that. And so for this slide, so we have the two different routers. The one is browser router and hash router. So what is browser router? Browser router is nothing but uh, actual URL, whatever we see, whatever we see in the real world, uh, the domain name slash user slash username like that. If it is a hash route, hash will be uh, sub act as a separator between the domain and the sub routes. So we will see how to implement both the things uh, in the today uh, practical session. And apart from that, uh, before jumping to browser and hash router, we need to know what is React Router, right? So React Router is nothing but uh, that's a part of library. It enables the navigation uh, across the different components. So in the React application, we doesn't have any pages. So we have only components. So for each page, we need to create a page component or as, uh, any kind of component that that particular component will act as a page. Inside the component, we can able to invoke or import other components depends upon the requirement. So for example, I'm going to create a home page, then I can I can create a file called home.js. But anyhow, uh, the home.js is a that also a component. Uh, I may create a function component or I may create a class component. But in the home page itself, it should have a navigation. It may sometimes a list of products, then we need to uh, we need to call a, a product list component or a product component, and we have the footers. So there are multiple uh, small, small pieces we have in a sim in a single page. So these all things will cover in a single JS file. That's called actual page component. Okay. So uh, we need to we need to mention those page component into added JS file within the router. So it may be a browser or hash router. So that's about React router. And uh, the switch is a part of router thing. Uh, that's also exported from React router term, which help us to which help us uh, to identify uh, currently where we are. For example, of the user clicking on uh, about. At that time, it should go about page, right? So kind of the normal switch case functionality it will take, like uh, exact path. If that if the path is exactly matched, then the particular component will render into the browser. So that's the thing. That's what it, the name itself switch. So okay, it have the multiple cases. Each case 
uh, connected with a particular component. So that's about switch. And uh, the dynamic routing is nothing but when we are going to uh, do a we are going to use single component uh, to perform multiple. Uh, for example, uh, we have 100, 100 of users. We want to show uh, user user uh, user information page. So for example, user slash uh, John. So like that, the router is there. So at that time, that particular router should connect with a particular component. For example, it may be a profile component. Then that particular profile component should visualize about John. If we pass user slash uh, Jack, then the particular component should uh, should view uh, should uh, give back the give back the data about Jack like that. So that's a, uh, by that way we can do dynamic routing. So whatever the data we send uh, through routing, we can able to fetch. Use uh, we have a separate uh, hooks for that like use router that also provided from React router DOM. So we will see one by one uh, how to implement that. There are small small things uh, in the slides. Uh, no need to uh, memorize everything. Uh, when you start working on that, then you can easily grab the things. Like we have the link and name link. The link is normal yeah, tag. So like we have the anchor tag, right? So when the user clicking on that, it will read, it will redirect to another page. So similarly, uh, link is a default uh, tag which is provided from React Router DOM. So it will help us to uh, restrict the page refreshment. So like we don't need to refresh the entire page. So it immediately went one page to another page without refreshing the particular tab. Nav link is nothing but uh, we are going to use navigation link. So each application should have the header. Inside that we have the multiple navigation link. Like so, at, at that time we need to use nav link. But apart from that, we can use link anywhere. That's up. Uh, that's up to the developer point. And uh, the match object in React is nothing but it, these are the props for the router. So uh, we will see uh, what 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 is actually match object in the React. So like we have the router, inside the router uh, we have the switch, inside the switch we need to mention the list of probes. 